Okay, I have ten thousand dollars ready. Do you think uh, it's a good time to enter the market now? My goal, my goal is three to six to twelve months. Okay, that, that's a pretty wide goal. I guess he's basically saying his time horizon. I feel like it's a pumped market for the time being. Okay, so let me just kind of, I guess, add some some constraint to to, to that question and re reframe it. So basically, you're saying you have ten thousand dollars ready to invest. You're asking if it's a good time to enter the market. Your time horizon is three, three to twelve months. So because of that, I would say you're not really a a value investor. You're basically a speculator or trader. So as a result, you have to have that mindset of trading. So basically, the question is, you have ten thousand dollars to trade. Uh, is it, is it, is now a good time to enter the market? Uh, Bill, uh, what's your take in terms of entering the market right now? All right. So I'll break this down into two parts. So if you have $10,000 and you have a 12 month time horizon, let me tell you, there is nothing better to laser focus your mind on how crypto moves than to actually have a position in it versus just sitting around and watching it. So of the $10,000, you could say, all right, I'm going to take 2000 and I'm just going to split it between say, I don't know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and your favorite alt. And I'm just going to watch it, right? It's not going to go to zero or we hope not, right? If you stick with the big coins and just watch it, right? And if you start to get profit on your 2000, then you can say, all right, maybe I can add a little more. Or if price dips to a level where you like it, you can also add a little more, okay? So you don't have to jump all the way in all at once, right? That's what everyone thinks. I have $10,000. I got to invest it now because I have this goal in 12 months. Okay. But put, put it in one piece at a time because you might be able to accumulate. You know, who knows? We might see 200 Ether again. We might. I don't think so unless stocks blow up, but that's, that's not the point. The point is you can make decisions and learn while still being in the game and having a core holding so that if it does moon, you're there for that. Yeah. I mean, uh, well said, well said as usual. Uh, I would add to that. I mean, if you have $10,000, you definitely should invest in your cryptocurrency research. So that's why we have token metrics over here. Uh, at Go to tokenmetrics.com and sign up because research is crucial in times like this. So, I mean, because we've made the platform easy to help you determine when is a good time to enter because we have automated technical analysis that tells you, okay, are we bullish on Bitcoin? Are we bearish on Bitcoin? Or same thing can be applied to over 100 different cryptocurrencies. And we also have price predictions. Obviously, they aren't perfect. Nothing is perfect. But used as tools together, they can tell you where the trend is going. So I would definitely recommend joining token metrics if you haven't yet already. Uh, we have weekly newsletters, um, Bill doing TA with us, uh, sharing his technical analysis on Bitcoin, Ethereum and on altcoins. Uh, also in the professional group, we have biweekly private calls where uh, Bill does TA. Um, basically, it's, it's basically a private coaching group <laughs> in a way, right? You, you have Bill, you have me, you have our team. We share different products we're researching. We have people who also I provide different products they want us to research and look, look and look into. For example, one person uh, in our private group wanted us to research Kyber Network for her, and we did. So I mean, it's really having some of the best minds in crypto together in one group. And if you have money to invest or trade in crypto, and you you're serious about it, it doesn't definitely make sense to invest in research, whether us or just even other platforms out there, right? Because as Bill said. I mean, you definitely don't don't want, want to be on the sidelines and if you right, but you also want to make sure you know what you're getting into and you're getting into the best products out there. All right. That being said, uh thank you for that question. Feel free to share any other thoughts or comments down below.